this is a video of, on how to repack bearings on the Honda HRX217 model. What happens is over time, due to heat and just wear, the grease inside of, this is the clutch, the grease inside of the bearings will just naturally dry out. And as a prevent, preventive maintenance, when you change your blade, you can take your clutch off, remove the bearing seal, this rubber seal here. And once you remove the seal, you take you some wheel bearing grease, you can use the number two, number three, or either number one, or in my case, I'm using uh, double O zero grease. This is for transmission. I use it on my snapper transmission, transmission box. But when you take this off, you pour the grease in there, and when you spin it around, when you spin this bearing around, it's going to suck the grease in there and lubricate the, the bearings. Therefore, extending the life of this bearing without having to bring it into the shop, having to press in a new bearing, or replace the clutch altogether. Next thing, the wheels. The wheels on here are sealed. And over time, water seeps in there and dry out whatever bearing grease they use inside here. It's, it seeps in and it dries it out. The solution to not having to replace the whole wheel or replace the bearing is Take the bearing, take take the wheel, the, the nut off, and when you see that little bit of clearance in between in between the shaft that is that is riding on for the bearing race and the bearing seal, metal seal, there's a little clearance right there. What you do is you take your grease and you pack it around the wheel. And when you spin the wheel, it's gonna automatically suck it into the center, lubricating the bearings. And if you heard it from the beginning, you heard how it was all squeaking. Now, since it's sucking it in there and lubricating the bearing, the rotation got real smooth and quiet. And you just keep rotating it. Now, if I didn't have this camera, I would put my finger there and force it in there, and it'll go in there a whole lot quicker. But it'll lubricate the bearing, extending the life of the wheel bearings on here. That way, you don't have to replace them. You do this to the front. Take it off and let's just flip it over. Take it off and since you can't get to this, make sure that this is clean. Put your bearing around once again. Put your grease and spin the center. And when you spin the center, it'll suck it into the bearing race and lubricate the interior bearings. You know, see how smooth it's getting? See, it and sucked it in there. And that's how you lube these bearings that are sealed. Just use that little bit of clearance that they have. See how I then sucked it down? And then sucked all that I stacked around and sucked it in there. Now it's lubricated. Extended the life of your bearings. And now, your lawnmower gonna roll smoother. A whole lot smoother. That's all you gotta do. Grease the bearing. 